Hello, welcome to Philly's Math Tutor. Today I'm going to talk about how to graph linear inequalities. So first let me remind how we can graph a linear equation. Let's say we have 3x plus 2y equals 18. So for, kind, uh, for graphing this linear equation, uh, we were using um, x and y intercepts. So let's start finding first y intercept. So x equals 0. When I put in the equation, I will get 3 multiplied by 0 plus 2y equals 18. So this will go. I will have 2y equals 18. And I will find y equals 9. So for uh, y-intercept, I have y equals 9 when x equals 0. So it's already graphed here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I have x equals 0, y equals 9. Okay, so I need one more point to graph my uh, linear equation. So I'm using y equals zero for finding x intercept so 3x plus 2 multiplied by 0 equals 18 so i will have 3x equals 18 which is x equal 6 so i find my x intercept so when x equals 6 uh, y equals 0, 6, 0 point. So I have two points, so I can graph my linear equation. Uh, it's already graphed, but I will show you again. So I will draw it like that. OK, so we know how to graph linear equation, but how about uh, graphing linear inequalities? Actually, it's uh, very similar with linear equation, but little different. Let's show uh, how different. So I have four examples here. So what is the difference? So some of them has less than equals or only less. It can be bigger than equal and it can be bigger. So uh, these equation actually uh, look like same graph with the first example we already talked about but difference is um, boundary line sometimes broken line and sometimes solid line so if i have less than an equal or bigger than an equal i will use solid line if i have less than or bigger than i will use um, broken line also i need to uh, decide how i am gonna um, shade the area so i will use test point normally uh, we we are generally using zero zero point as a test point sometimes some examples are different but in this example we can use zero zero point as a test point so this is my test point okay so what we are doing with test point if test point satisfies equation we will shade same area with test point as a solution area so in first example we shade uh, same area with test point because uh, zero zero point is satisfies in second example also satisfies but uh, third and fourth example is different because it doesn't uh, satisfy a zero, zero point. So let me show it with details what I'm talking about. So I took the same example, example one from the uh, up. So it says 3x plus 2y less than equal 18. So as I said, I will use this zero, zero point as a test point this point okay uh, 
So when I put zero, zero point in this in equation, three multiply by zero, because I'm using uh, zero, zero point, right? Plus two multiply by zero. So I'm looking if it is less than or equal. So I'm putting question mark because I'm trying to check if it works or not. So is it e less than or equal 18? So when I calculate this left side, I will get zero less than equal 18. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. So it's satisfied. So my test point is satisfied. So I will uh, shade same area with test point, which is already shaded in the graph, but I will show you again. So we are shading same side of test point because my solution is uh, on the left side of the line. So, uh, so we have to look for one more thing in here. So this boundary line, uh, since my equation is less than here, less than and equal, so we will use a solid line, solid line. So it's already used solid line. But in fourth example, uh, in here, since it is bigger than, I will use a broken line, broken line okay so in this example we shaded a uh, right area because when i put my test point zero zero point here it doesn't satisfy my uh, equation so let me show you why this test point three multiply by zero plus two multiply by zero is not equal than 18, right? So we are checking question mark. So this side will be zero. Zero is not bigger than 18. So this is not satisfied. So we are shading opposite side with a test point, which is right side. So this graph's already drawn, but I am, trying to explain what we are doing. So hopefully it helps and thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like. If you have any question, you can ask me by email. Um, see you in the next video.